Transforming a scene from one tone to another looks complicated at first glance. However, there are several ways to make the process simple and easy. In this tutorial, we will cover the use of Lumetri Color. Let's get started. First, notice the clips here are bright, sunny, and cheerful. We plan to turn them into a dark, dramatic scene. One way to do this is first to make an adjustment layer, which is a layer where you can apply effects that will impact everything underneath it. So let's go to our project panel, click on the new item button, and find the adjustment layer. So there's our adjustment layer. We wanna drag it on top of our first clip and then trim it to the same length as that clip. Next, select the adjustment layer, click on the effects tab, and then type in Lumetri Color. You can see it there, and we can drag it either into our source panel or directly onto the adjustment layer. This Lumetri Color effect is great for fast, simple color grading and adjustments. So now I'll select the adjustment layer and use a simple correction first. This is a good place to play around and figure out what works for your scene. I can first change the temperature to make it a little bit colder and a little bluer. And we'll take it down just a little bit and that looks good. We can also take the saturation down a little bit. Whites, shadows, and highlights are also good ways to get the look you want. So I'll bring down my whites. I'm gonna bring down my shadows a bit. And the highlights, I can play with those as well. I can go up, down. I'm just gonna go up just a little bit here. And we can adjust the contrast. For this one, we're gonna boost it a little bit. And as you can see, as I'm clicking on the eyeball, we can see what it looks like with it on and with it off. Once we're satisfied with this, we can move on to the next one, which is the creative section. Here we can adjust the vibrance and turn it down a bit to get a little bit more bland color for the clip. Now let's go ahead and go to the curves. This section helps us control the color and brightness of our clips with more detail. We'll make a keyframe in the middle and we can adjust it. We'll lower it down just a little bit. We can create another keyframe right here and then we can adjust that up and down as well. As you can see that starts changing the clip's brightness and contrast. Then we can click on the other color sections to further adjust the scene. For example, we can see a lot of greens here, so let's go ahead and turn those down. We can click and curate a keyframe and move it up and down. You can see how just how much it can affect the clip. But let's go ahead and leave this one right here, and then we'll create a new one. We can adjust that one up just a little bit, and you can see what it looks like. So we'll go to the reds, and we can adjust the reds as we want as well. Same with the blue. We'll, we can click and create a keyframe right around here, and then we can create another one down here and adjust those accordingly however we want it to look. And you should always go back and click the eyeball on and off to see what it's gonna look like with the effect applied. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and go into the HSL secondary. The HSL secondary gives us finer controls of specific colors and is typically done after primary correction. So what you wanna do is you wanna click set color and select the greens that we have here. Just click somewhere in this bush. I'm just gonna go ahead and click somewhere where I like the green. And then you can click show mask to see what colors are now selected. To widen the selection, adjust the H, S, and L sections. So you can see I'm making it a little bit wider. We're getting more selected in there. We can grab more and more the wider we make these settings. And now you can really start to see those greens coming out in our selection. And then you can uncheck the show mask button. Using this HSL secondary, we can also adjust the saturation and the temperature of the colors selected, which is what we'll do here. We can take those greens and we can adjust them however we want. We can, we can bring them over here to the yellow, we can make it to the pink, we can take it down to the green, and ultimately I think we want to get it to more blue over here in this area. And we can change the temperature just a bit and that looks good to me. We can change the tint just that little bit and then we can obviously change our contrast as well and then we can always sharpen with that tool but we'll just leave it at zero for now and we can desaturate those specific greens which will take it down. And finally we can adjust the vignette to add some dark edges. So setting the vignette to negative one is a good amount but feel free to adjust as you see fit. Midpoint and roundness will help you shape the vignette. Feather will give us a nice smooth transition between the dark edges and the rest of the clip. And of course you can click the eyeball to see what the original looks like and then you can check it back on when you want to see it with the Lumetri color effect on there. Now we can create a new adjustment layer and drag it over the top of all of the remaining clips. 
we can select the razor tool and we can go ahead and make cuts where the cuts are on the exact clips so that they match the duration. And then it's just as simple as copying and pasting. We can copy these adjustments and then place them on all the other clips using the paste attributes function here. So go ahead and copy, then click on the next clip, click on paste attributes. Be sure to check only the effects you want to paste. So as you can see, we've got our Lumetri color here that we want to paste. And you can see this clip now has that same effect applied. Now these other clips may require additional changes depending on how much sun exposure, how much brightness and color variation they have. But with a few tweaks, all the clips can get that dramatic look that we're going for with this short little montage. Now let's compare in the beginning to what we have currently. These changes gave us the more dramatic look that we're hoping for. There's so much more for us to discuss about the Lumetri color effect. Keep an eye out for future tutorials where we will cover audio adjustments, presets, applying matches, and more. Head over to Pond5.com to license footage that you can use to test out these techniques. There are also thousands of free assets available to download at Pond5.com free.